Hi guys, welcome to this video from Bite Size Excel. In this video, we're going to take a little look at some further formatting options in terms of your cell border and shading of your cell. So what you can do when you want to add in your cell borders, you can use a number of different preset options in here, such as selecting all your borders, which will give you a very plain black outline. However, you may want to use some more advanced formatting options. So if you want to format your cell borders in a more advanced way, you can either come into your little drop down list here and select more borders and it will come up with your format cell box and be in your border tab. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut control and one to bring you to the same place. Now, as you can see, there's a number of different border options. You can quickly select just having your outside borders, no borders, just your inside borders. You can also select a number of different border types. So you might want a solid line on the outside and a dotted line in the middle. You might also want to change the color of certain borders. So for example, if you wanted your dotted line in the middle to be blue, this is where you could do that. There are also options around the edge here, which allow you to add in different types of borders, such as diagonal lines, or to take away single outside borders. So this is where you can have a play with different border styles and different border colors. If we click on OK, you can see your outside border is a solid blue line and inside is your dotted blue. In a similar way, you might want to format your shading in a more advanced manner. So coming to your fill column, you can obviously select the color inside your cell. I will make everything yellow, similar to using the drop down list up here. But you might want to format things in a more advanced way. So if we come in here on the side of our fill tab, we've got these patterns and pattern styles. So say you want to have a lightly shaded cell, we can select that. We can change the color of that shading. For example, we can make it red. And you can still play around with your background color, which will make the background behind this shade a bit into whatever color you pick. So as you can see, we're changing the background here. And if we change our pattern, that will stay red. And this obviously allows you to format your cells in a slightly more advanced way. These cell formatting options can become quite useful when you combine them with things like conditional formatting. So if certain cells contain certain values, you might want this crosshatch shading or something to be blacked out, for example. Another way to bring up that cell formatting box is to click on this little corner and then select your fill tab. So that's just a bit further information on some different ways to format either your cell borders or the fill of your cells. And as I said, it can become quite useful when you combine it with things like conditional formatting, which we're going to look at in further detail in a later video. I hope you found this video useful. Please do leave me a comment and let me know what you'd like to cover in future videos.